God! Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy Ghost Arkin, and today we're locking in. I'm giving you all the good stuff, bro. All the good sniping tips, secrets, the settings, the loadouts. All of it, baby. Let's go. Now, we're going to start with the loadouts first, and then we'll get to the settings after. A bunch of important things to start off with the LW3A1, men. First things first, you're going to want to have on Gunfighter. I'm going to show you the class after, but let's get right into the attachments themselves, bro. Number one thing you're going to want to know with the LW3A1 is to have muzzle break, bro. This thing kicks like a horse, bro. For no reason at all, it has the most sway in the game. So when you're sniping with this gun, have muzzle break on, and you got to be patient with your shot, or you have to pop shot. Next thing you're going to want to have on is reinforced barrel. Again, that's going to help with like damage range and bullet velocity. Precision pad is what we have found some of the best snipers to be the best stock pad to run on this game. Uh, next thing we're going to run is Extended Mag 1, Quick Draw Riser for the comb, and then Heavy Stock, Strelock Laser, and Rapid Fire to round it out. Uh, real quick before I show you some of the clips with this and give you some examples, bro. I run this pistol right here, the Automatic Pistol, Stim Shot, Combat Axe, Trophy System, and then again, this is my biggest thing with these classes when you run Gunfighter is you have to have on the three red perks, okay? Dexterity, most important perk in the game for sniping, Assassin, and then double time so you get Enforcer. Enforcer is disgusting, but Enforcer kills enemies and grants a temporary buff to movement speed and health regen rate. That's overpowered as fuck. Put on the three red perks and let's get into some clips, man. Let me show you guys why this gun is low-key the best gun in the game. you guys were able to see what i meant with the pop shotting with the lw3a1 it's disgusting i commit to the pop shots so it works out for me and that's why it looks as nice as it does now the big thing with the lr that i see a lot of people mess up is they put gunfighter on you do not need gunfighter for the lr that's what i've learned put these five attachments on send in mag quick draw heavy stock strelock laser and rapid fire okay and then the rest with this class is again put on perk greed instead of the gunfighter like i said and then put on flak jacket and you'll be good to go, okay? The same, this is the same stuff for the rest of the class. Uh, and again, if you don't know what camo this is, by the way, that is Opal from Zombies. You gotta unlock it. It's like the diamond, but Zombies form. Now, real quick, I'm gonna show you guys my favorite LR clips in the game. Oh my God. <laughs> Now, the last sniper we're gonna go over is the SVD. Probably my least favorite sniper of the three, but again, it's a very like different class from the other ones as well. So we'll just go over this real quick. I run Blandwell 7X scope, very different scope. Put it on, you might fuck with it. Oh God, you probably will. Muzzle break is super important for this gun though. Again, put Gunfighter on this class. You're, you're gonna be better off with eight attachments on the SVD. Kind of a weak gun. And it's one of those guns where you actually have to like aim in the entire way with. Super awkward, I don't know why. Reinforced barrel, extended mag, quick draw, heavy stock, Sherlock laser, and rapid fire. Again, these back five attachments are the most important attachments for the snipers in this game, okay? And again, it's just gonna be the same stuff for this, okay? All right, guys, now onto the actual important stuff of the settings, man, okay? A lot of things in here that are very, very specific to sniping for no reason whatsoever. I don't know why they did it. Just copy everything I have. I've gone through every video on the internet, pros, snipers, all of them. I have the best of both worlds that applies to everything. If you pick up red guns, if you snipe, all of it will be answered right here, right now. Let's run through it. We're going to start with the interface and go to color customization and put on color filter number two. Okay. After you put that on, turn this to both and then turn your world color intensity up to 100. Seeing people in this game for some reason is so difficult, especially on maps like derelict some of those darker maps you dead eyes just cannot see people inside of like bushes and in dark corners this will help with that okay i got you now go to your hud go to mission interface that's the best one in the hud go to visuals turn your map shape to square make sure this is horizontal make sure your rotation is on and then make sure your radar is off turn your scale up to 103 like i said that reset my shit turn your map opacity to 65 a lot of people have theirs at 100 turn it down to 65 you it allows you to see through so if there's somebody like in the top left of your screen that you would have not normally seen now you're gonna be able to see them okay turn these to 100 uh, they should be base 100 okay and then that's the same with that for the audio i say turn all this stuff down uh leave dialogue down but like leave it up a little bit so you can hear there's a couple important things that get said uh while you're in game that you might need to hear uh for the audio mix i run headphone bass cut 
Uh, I'm honestly like, I don't really have that good of headphones and headphone bass cut. I've been hearing people really, really well with. Okay. Another huge setting right here is reduced tinnitus sound. That's for when you get flashed and stunned. You don't got to hear the fucking high pitch fucking my bad for cussing a lot. That's my bad. For these, that's just preference. You don't really need any of those. Let's get into the graphics, baby. I'm going to go quick through this because uh, a lot of this is just preference with your PC. But if you have a decent PC, I would just copy what I have right here, okay? Fidelity Cast is what you want to run on this game. Do not let anybody tell you otherwise, bro. Don't run any of these other DLSS. Do not do that shit. Just put it to 100. Fidelity Cast, you'll, you'll be able to see people better and it's probably better for your PC, okay? Frame regeneration. I got told recently that this actually fucks up latency, so... Turn that off. Turn your VRAM to 80, around there. 80, 90 is probably good. Again, things with the textures, bro, just leave like normal or low, okay? Just copy these as are. Turn this to like halfway optimized and like halfway, like 36, maybe like 40. Uh, doesn't really matter that much. Turn the rest of these to just low or normal or off. Whichever helps your PC do the best, just do that, okay? All right, my big thing with sniping, uh, even red gunning, I love when the gun is just like smaller in the screen so you can see more, plus it looks cooler, bro. Put your FOV on 120, turn your weapon field of view to wide, and then turn this to affected, not independent. Affected is way better, especially for picking up red guns and sniping in general, okay? Make sure you guys have your motion blurs off. Turn them off. It makes your game looks like, look just terrible if you have it on, okay? Turn inverted flashbang on. That's real good so you don't go blind every time you get flashbanged. And yeah, that's about it for the view section, okay? Now it's time to lock into the good stuff, bro. There are so many settings in here that are specific to sniping for no reason whatsoever. These are just mine. Again, this is just preference, but this is what I run um, being one of the better snipers in the game. You know, it's pretty gas for me. Tactical flipped. That'll do it, bro. I run 19-19 in this game because there is like no aim assist with sniping. So the lower the sensitivity, if you're, if you're a slower player or a newer player, I would suggest lowering your sensitivity, okay? I run 19-19 just because, you know, I'm used to higher sensitivity. And, and it works for me. Sometimes I go 2020. It just depends. I run swapped. I shoot with my bumpers. I have a scuff PS5 reflex, man. Shout out scuff, baby. Oh God. Turn your vibration off. It messes with sniping. Just turn it off and get used to it. You'll be happier you did. This is the crown jewel right here, bro. Okay. This took years for people to figure out. I don't know why, including me. This is something that you're not going to get told and literally in any other video, maybe some pro players, but 0, 065, 2, 99, 0, 0. It does not get much better than that, oh God, okay? The reason you put your left stick to zero and your left stick max to 65 is so that by the time you push your left stick up, you are already running full speed. That is milliseconds of time that you need in game to win more gunfights, okay? Now for the right stick minimum being two, if you have a new controller, put it one. If you have an older controller with stick drift, slowly move it up until you don't have stick drift. It's that simple, okay? Now a lot of humongous settings coming up here, okay? Let's go to aiming. This one right here, ADS sensitivity transition timing. When you get on the game, it will be on instant. If you're a sniper, you wanna change this puppy to after zoom, okay? That's number one. And number two, the after zoom combos with the custom sensitivity per zoom. So if you mess with your in scope sensitivities or out of scope sensitivities, it will directly come from the after zoom instant and gradual portion of it. So if you're realizing as soon as you press L1, if you have a ADS multiplier on, it will instantly activate that multiplier if you have it on instant. So now when you're in scope, as soon as you touch it, you could be flying across the screen because you're just not using it. You're like, why does the game feel like this? This is why. Turn it to after zoom, you'll be good to go. These are my settings. I have it on point 0.8 for when I red gun and then point 0.2 for everything else when I'm using like any type of scope, just in general, reg scope or not reg scope, okay? And then again, I've been told on this game that linear is really good, so I might be swapping to linear soon, but I'm used to dynamic and leave this on one, and that's just what I'm used to, okay? Target aim assist is on. There's no specific aim assist in this game. There's no sniping aim assist in general, so fuck it, just leave that as is. Humongous setting right here. If your game feels clunky, this is probably why, okay? Tactical sprint assist. I don't know why they're adding this to the game, but you need to have it on. It's gonna be on tactical sprint assist, change it to on this is going to be at one change that to zero okay so just on and zero and you will be able to shoot faster than you normally would um with the settings not not like that uh, i don't know why they did that but they did it like that i run hybrid here another good thing to do if you don't like diving with your left stick is just to have on on tap to slide it'll get rid of some of the delay if you do that uh, put on slide maintain sprint gotta have that on um, let's go to movement advanced settings. Yeah, big, big, big setting here. Single tap to run is way better than single tap to sprint. It'll make you sprint faster, therefore activating your sprint to fire speed when you're sniping with snipers, and that helps close range. What else do we got here? Combat. 
This is what I run here. I run tap to reload here. Uh, prioritize body shields fire so you can grab people and just put them in a chokehold instead of assassinating them and you can assassinate them after now guys the final setting of the video again i hope you learned something uh you know a thing or two you know i hope you enjoyed the clips appreciate you guys vibing with me man is the clouded settings bro if you do not have this on half the time your things are just gonna reset for no reason uh and that's just how the game works okay now guys i hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching i hope you learned a thing too like i said please be sure to like and subscribe to the ghost gaming channel we are only on the up and up man you're gonna see a lot more of me go follow me arkin on youtube same shit with twitter as well baby i'll be locked in on this game i love this game so much truly one of my favorite games in the past couple years we have some big things in store for ghost coming up very soon some new recruits some big announcements let's get this shit going man ghost to a million i love Love you guys so much have a great rest of your day peace out